What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble Preferred Influencer. My referral link will be in the pinned comment. Best promotion they have. Whether you deposit a dollar or not, sign up, get free stocks. Although if you deposit that dollar, they will give you more than if you don't. Marlon Humphrey upset already with EA Sports. You can see here quoting a tweet that says, tough look, Marlon Humphrey, why he gets stiff-armed into oblivion. And he responds, shake my head, take me out of the game right now before I sue at EA Madden NFL. Now, I don't think he actually means that he would sue EA, but I think to a bigger point, Marlon Humphrey is not the type of player that's going to be stiff-armed up off the ground, by the way, and posterized, if you will, while Connor Duggan ironically speaks. And I also understand you're never going to make every NFL player happy with every rating. And yes, players do have to win. Players do have to lose. Tackles do have to be broken. Players do have to be stiff-armed. It happens. It truly happens. However, EA kind of has this issue with a couple of players in the past. Darius Slay comes to mind with the way they treat them in these game trailers. I don't know why we have to focus on gameplay like this unless we're specifically talking about improvements, and if that's the case, why aren't we just showing players on the screen? I mean, they just showed today three different Josh Allens in terms of emotion capture, but it does bring out the emotions in players, but to me as a gamer, it also brings out the status of animation-based gameplay, right? This is an animation playing out, we all know it, and you're not going to get authentic simulation football if every single player can be treated the same way as long as they go into an animation. So, in terms of Marlon Humphrey's frustration, yes, maybe he feels this isn't an accurate portrayal of how he plays football, but to the gamer, and even to him if he watches this, the reality is it's nothing against him. Any single corner, from the smallest to the tallest, from the widest to the thinnest, is susceptible to these animations. And we know that to be the case, and we've asked continuously for physics-based tackling to be brought into Madden. Backbreaker had it a decade ago. EA still can't figure it out, and not only do gamers complain, but also so do athletes. Love to know your thoughts on this. I've got a great breakdown of gameplay coming up tomorrow or later today, depending on when you guys want to see it. Until then, you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.